As of the time that I'm recording this, July 22nd, we have six mythical epics that have not been released in Prodigy yet. That's right, six. And I would not be surprised at this rate if the number continues to grow before we get the next one, which will hopefully be on July 1st, which means we probably won't be getting another one leaked, and I'm okay with that. Six is enough. But with so many, it can get hard to keep track of what has been found for each mythical epic so far. So in this video, I am going to break down everything that we know about all six upcoming mythical epics. This information is as of right now and can and probably will change in the very near future. So let's get started. So let's start with the upcoming variant of Riptide. This is pet ID 213 and it should be the next one that we are getting. We do have the icon for it. It is definitely going to be an ice variant. It has a purplish like body, um, a turquoise blue eye, a fang, um, a pink mouth, blue and light blue and dark blue like fur coming out of its head and on its back. And that is basically what we can see from this icon. Then we have the hero pose found for this one, which gives us a little better look at what it looks like. It looks very similar to the icon, but we can see a bit more about it, like how the dark blue fur stretches down its neck. And we can see a bit of the purple fur, like on the wings, that will make up part of its body. It is not exactly obvious that it will have wings, but Riptide has wings, so we can assume that this one will have wings as well. Then we have the spine of the mythical epic, which does give us a lot more detail of what it actually will look like. Here we can definitely tell that it has wings. We can see a bunch of wing designs around it, and we see water surfing waves around it as well that will probably be part of its walk animation and its attack animation and we can see the little bits and pieces around it of its limbs and other um parts we can also see its large tail right here the last information that we have found for the riptide variant is the quest items all three of them have been found the first one is quite simply a piece of this mythical epic's fur. A dark purple color with white on the end. The second one is simply a snow globe with a mountain in it. And the third one is kind of like a snowboard. If there is a, another name for what this is called, I don't know what it is. But if you know, let me know in the comments. It has the color pattern of this mythical epic. Now, this really does seem like it's going to be an amazing mythical epic. I really like the way it looks, and hopefully we get it in the game very soon, July 1st. All the pieces are in place. We just need it to be added to the pet book. Next in line seems to be the variant of Vega Bloom. This is pet ID 214, and... This may be the one that we are getting after the Ice Riptide variant. Prodigy has been doing some weird things with their orders lately, so we will have to wait and see. Starting with the icon for this one, it definitely looks like an odd one. It has dark gray fur and pink markings all around it. It has pink insides to its ears, a pink circular marking on its forehead, um, pink markings above its eyes and below its eyes on its cheeks and on the edge of its mouth. Its nose is pink. It has light blue and purple eyes and like a light pinkish purple coating around its um, neck. This one definitely seems like it could very well be a shadow mythical epic, but it could also be a storm one. The hero pose gives us a better look at it. 
now we can see more of the pinkish purplish um coating around its neck with a blue a uh, light blue and dark blue like eye looking thing on its chin or in the center or something we can see more of the dark gray body now with more pink markings and what looks like its tail and a bluish transparent energy source or something that looks like it's at the top of its tail. So this is definitely going to be an interesting one. The spine for this one basically just shows us a bunch of dark gray and purple pink um, limbs and a tail and just more of like its eye and its mouth and all of that. And lastly, we also have all three of the quest items to look at. The first one is like a ball toy for the Vega Bloom variant to play with, I guess. It looks pretty interesting. I like the design around it. The second one is three of these strange light things that we saw on the end of the Vega Bloom variant's tail. They have a white circle in the middle, and the colors range from a pink all the way down to a blue. I really like the way this one looks. The third one looks like some kind of charred fruit that has been bitten out of, and it has smoke rising from the top. It is on a wooden plate of sorts. So that is what we know right now for the Vega Bloom variant. This is one I'm also very excited for, and one that should be coming very soon, hopefully after the Riptide variant. Next up, we have the variant of Griff Room. This one is Pet ID 215, so according to that, it should be coming after the Vega Bloom variant. Just by looking at its icon, we can immediately tell that it is a water type. It wears a similar skull to Griff Room, but it is more water themed. It looks more like it has coral on the side. It has an orange eye, which is really cool. And under its mask is dark blue. It has a dark blue the rest of its face, and I assume that the body is also dark blue. It has tentacles on the top of its head, on the top of its skull, that are light blue and have like octopus-like suckers on the inside, and the, it has orange dots on the tentacles. The hero pose for this one makes it look even cooler. We get a better look at its face, especially the tentacles, they are longer and more menacing looking. And now it looks angry. Its mouth is open and we can see an orange tongue. I love all the orange. It contrasts the blue very well. So we can tell that the underside of this mythical epic is going to be a dark blue. But the upper side is going to be a light blue with lots of coral around it. You can see plenty of whiter coral or a lighter blue coral on top of its back and that just looks very cool. This one I am even more excited to see what it is actually going to look like with the reveal of its hero pose. Then we have the spine for this one, which looks very cool as well. We can see the tentacles slash flippers that it will probably be in place of its legs. It doesn't... Well, we'll have to wait and see. It looks like it has paws in some places, but this is definitely an interesting looking one. It has tentacles and paws, so we can see its underside and upper side and the coral that is going to be on top of it. We can see plenty of water 
water animation around it, which is probably going to be its um, attack animation or its walk animation. That is going to look very interesting. I, again, I cannot wait for this one. Lastly, it seems like we just have one of the quest items found for right now. This is like an ink splatter. It's not much, it just looks like the messy splatter furniture item. So, for all we know right now, this is the one that is going to be coming after the Vega Bloom variant. All three of these, that we know a lot about, I am very excited for. The next one that we know about is the variant of Buzzra. This one we do not know much about. We only have the icon for it, so let me pull that up. This one is clearly an ice variant. Buzzra was Storm, so this one is going to be ice. It is light blue with some darker blue markings all around it on its fur. It has a, a pink, like, nose-like thing, and pink claws with purple fur around it for more like the paws. It has large, dark blue eyes, very much like Buzzra, and dark blue antenna with, like, snow on the top of them. It is quite difficult to formulate an opinion on a mythical epic when you only have the icon, but as of right now, that's all we have, and I'm excited for it anyway. This is pet ID 218, so it should be coming after the Groove Room variant. Then we have the variant of Glimmerwing, which is in the exact same situation as the Buzzra variant. All we have for it is the icon. This one looks like it is a storm type. It looks more like a bird than Glimmerwing does, to be honest. It has light brown fur with some dark brown in it, like the stripes. And it has a yellow beak. One eye is closed, just like Glimmerwing. And the other eye is light blue and purple. It has large dark brown eyebrows and large ears. It has purple, light purple fur, and a gray like fur on the top of the head and the stomach, it seems, and a light gray collar around the top of its head with a light blue uh, light on it. Again, it is hard to come up with an opinion when you have only the icon to look at, but I'm sure this one will be good as well. And finally, we have the newest finding, one that seems to be a completely original mythical epic, not a variant of one of the others. And I have mixed feelings on this one even existing, but it does look cool. This one seems to be a griffin. It has a yellow beak that its mouth is open in this shot. It has a light blue eye and light brown and dark brown fur. The dark brown fur is on the top of its head and looks like it's more like a mane. It has dark blue horns and like a light green ear with a red inside. Like I said, this is an original mythical epic and not a variant of any of the others. But for this one, we do happen to have the hero pose for it. This gives us a better look at its body it, and its head. It makes its head look bigger and it, the ear is closer up, so it's also larger. And the body shows that it has wings, which makes it look like a griffin. Light brown and dark brown wings. And... Uh, green, light green, the same color as its ear, chest fur. So this is definitely an interesting looking one. Now the fact that we have a hero pose for this one and not ones for the Buzzra and Glimmerwing variant is kind of odd. It makes me think that maybe this one is coming before them, but we don't have an ID for it and it 
definitely seems like there are no gaps to fill in in the IDs, so this one should be coming after the Buzzra variant and the Glimmerwing variant, but that is odd that it already has a hero pose out. We will have to see for what actually happens. But I do have mixed feelings as a whole of this one actually being in the game. I do think that the mythical epics need to end at some point, and after the variants are finished up, I don't think that there should be any more, but now that we seem to have a whole new one coming after the variants are done, then that means that they will probably be continuing random mythical epics, maybe originals, maybe even more variants, but this just means we'll probably have them keeping on coming, which is both good and bad, so we will have to see what actually happens by the time it comes out. I know I say that a lot, but it's the truth. We really never know what is going to happen until it happens. But this one does look very cool in my opinion. So that is everything that we know right now about all six upcoming mythical epics. This is a lot of information, so keep track of it. Um, I will be posting updates, of course, whenever we get them on the upcoming Mythical Epics, and we will just have to see what the release order looks like when it actually happens. So what do you think about all of these upcoming Mythical Epics? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments.